Rita's Italian Ice has a major problem that nobody is talking about. If this business wants to stick around for 10, even five years, this is something that they need to address right now. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a video creator, a live streamer, an ice cream connoisseur, and a young marketer. I'm interested in spreading messages about things that I care about, and this one specific issue about Rita's I had to bring to light. If you're wondering, Matt, what's Rita's? Well, just you wait. I'm going to be unpacking the history of the brand, telling you why it's so important to me, and the one specific thing that Rita's has to change to continue to be successful going forward. That's right, Linda Chadwick, CEO of Rita's. I'm making this video for you. <laughs> Our story starts with rain. Former Philadelphia firefighter Bob Tomolo wanted more for his life. He wanted to share happiness with whoever he could, and he knew one thing that could do it. Frozen ice. Well, okay, not just any frozen ice, water ice. Some would call it Italian ice. He decided to buy a water ice dessert recipe from one of his elderly neighbors and enhanced it with fruit juices and other flavors. With the enhanced flavor of happiness in this cup of dessert, Bob Tomolo founded a restaurant named after his wife, Rita. The business was successful and they started spreading their water ice around to their local community. They even put out a second restaurant in 1987. People were really eating up this, this water ice, the, this, these sweet desserts in a cup that they actually chose to franchise in 1989. And today, there are about 540 Rita's locations through the mid-Atlantic United States, as well as other places in the world. Kind of cool, there's a, there's a Rita's uh, Philippines, kind of neat. It's a notable ice and, and custard brand in the United States. They even have a special day, the first day of spring, where they give out these free medium Italian ice cups to whoever comes to the store. Not the last time they did this was in uh, 2019, uh, before a, a giant, um, a giant specific something had a viral, uh, a viral impact. Now, I'm a 21 year old living in New Brunswick, Canada. Why do I care so much about this chain of custard restaurants in the mid-Atlantic United States? Well, that's actually where I was from. That's me when I was a young lad. I'm standing next to my mom, Marianne, and my dad, David. I don't remember if we struggled financially or not, but I always felt blessed and I felt like I was always loved and taken care of, especially when we'd walk just a couple of minutes to our local Rita's. I have a very vivid memory of sitting on this specific red bench and eating a vanilla custard cone covered in rainbow sprinkles right next to my dad. We didn't go often, but whenever we did, it was a little event. Uh, I really cherished it. Sadly, we didn't stay in Crofton, Maryland. My dad grew ill with a brain tumor and he eventually passed away. Soon after that, we moved to New Brunswick, Canada to be closer to my mom's side of the family. Since the move, I haven't been to Rita since, but I still have the memory. I still remember my dad reminding me to, to lick the sides of the cone um, when the soft ice cream started to melt. I, I'm, I'm reminded of when life was simpler. And this is why I care so much about Rita's, and I so desperately need them to fix this one thing that's plaguing them. And Linda Chadwick, I know you're excited to hear about it, but if you're watching and you're not Linda Chadwick, um, comment down below if you have any Rita's experience or any Rita's memories. Guys, chat down in the comments about Rita's. What's your favorite flavor of Italian ice from Rita's? Let me know, I, I, I miss it. I, what should I get? And hey, you can even leave a like or subscribe while you're at it. <laughs> so what's the big problem with Rita's? It's online video content. There's just about none of it, with roughly 50 million people using TikTok daily and 122 million people using YouTube daily, there's a massive market to distribute brand messages to. Like you guys have seen brand accounts, right? You've seen the brand TikTok. You've seen the brand YouTube channels. Like this is, this is a thing. These massive numbers can be taken advantage of to spread brand awareness. Rita's has no brand TikTok account, <laughs> none. And this is 2023. There is no brand TikTok account for Rita's. There's a couple of locations that decided to go out of their way to make a TikTok because, well, they were being smart, like, like they, they knew what they were doing. But nowadays, it's not only recommended to have social media or like a TikTok account, 
you actually need it to be able to compete properly with your competition, right? This is, this is, this is important. This is something that you need. And the same goes for Rita's YouTube content. When I was reminded of Rita's a couple of months ago and I was doing some research, I wanted to go to their YouTube channel to see what they had. Like, what, what can I be reminded of? What can I know of that? What has Rita's been up to since I've had it? And I was disappointed. There's a lot of videos that are like, hey, please franchise our business. And yeah, like, I understand that's important, but I think there's an opportunity to show brand image, right? There's an opportunity to spread the message that you're trying to do. Some of the best videos I found about Rita's actually weren't published by Rita's at all. They were vlogs from, from other people that either work at Rita's or have other experiences with them. And not see that, it says don't put babies in the Oreo bin. <laughs> No babies in the Oreo bin. <laughs> what do you think is a weasel? What do you think? It's like a long ferret, I think. <laughs> beep boop pop beep beep boop pop beep 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 beep. Hi, Catherine. I just wanted to remind you that your shift's at four. Drive safe. Love you. Miss you. Bye. That's how I got the real Rita's feel. I, I looked into what other people were experiencing. Now, I will say, Rita's Instagram account does have some pretty killer reels on it, right? So I know that you guys have some experience in short form video content, but I implore you, like you can even just repost it. Here's the thing, like, like some brands just repost their things, but I know that you guys are good at little quick reels. They get, a, they get, they get some views, but this is something that I really think you guys should pour a little bit more investing into. Make some time to make a nice TikTok account. You've got your ice guy, your ice guy, <laughs> ice guy mascot like like duolingo has the duolingo bird right and they've got a killer tiktok account so there's opportunity here also shout out the uh the twitter uh employee who's posting to the readers twitter um you're a champion and i just i just wanted you to know that i see you i i see you putting these little images out every day you're able to make a good base of short form content and continue to promote that through things like tiktok youtube shorts if you really create a good base and you keep that up with tact, then you guys could continue to see success for years and stay up to date with the current video market. This is, I don't usually make this kind of content. This is my first time kind of making this kind of video, but I, I care about Rita's, right? This, this is a place that I went to when I was young. Uh, it holds a deep place in my heart. Rita's came from humble beginnings and so did I. It's because of these humble beginnings that I have unforgettable memories of me and my family. So Rita's, Linda Chadwick, I am, I am, I am begging you, please uh, make better short form content for your brand. Please, I need readers to continue to survive, continue to be uh, something that I can take my kids to. And I need this to happen. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, write down in the comments if you want readers uh, to bring back their free frozen ice days. Come on, promote that bad boy on TikTok and you are, you're here forever. Right? Come on, readers. Come on, please, please. Leave a like if you uh, if you thought this was a good time. A little ramble for me. If you did like this, if you want to see other stuff like this in the future, subscribe. Stick around. I have some more videos planned. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching, and keep loving bacon, kids.